Welcome to the Mastering the Game of Life podcast. In this podcast, there'll be insights around three key areas to mastering the game of life. Purpose, prosperity, philanthropy. Your host, Paul Lowe, the third sector mentor, is the founder of Hearts Global CIC, which along with many other of his charitable commitments, has been responsible for positively impacting thousands of people's lives, particularly young people from disadvantaged communities. Author of Mastering the Game of Life, From Pain to Purpose, and Speaking from Our Hearts books. Introducing your host, Paul Lowe. Welcome listeners to this Mastering Life podcast where today I am going to be interviewing a lady called Lynn Smith. I'm going to be talking about relationships. Um, So without further ado, Lynn, very warm welcome. Thank you, Paul. I'm delighted to be here. And if I can start by um, using your book, The Cupid's Bow Technique, From Casual to Committed, Using the Power of Polarisation. What does that mean? Well... I think people do get confused about what equality means, especially in the context of intimate relationships, because for me, equality means equal opportunity, which is great. You know, outside of intimate relationships, we all want to have equal opportunities to access equal pay, equal rights and equal work for whoever you are. You know, it doesn't matter what gender. But um, in the context of intimate relationships, equality does not mean being the same. Men are very different to women. You know, they think differently, they feel differently, they behave differently. uh, And therefore, we need to accept and embrace our differences. And it's actually the polarisation of those differences which actually creates more passion, more intimacy and more fulfilment in our intimate relationships. Okay, so I kind of understand that. So in, in, in pra- more practical terms, what, what does that look like? Well, what does that look like? Um, well, it's a, it's a, it, it looks like understanding how the feminine and the masculine energies work. Um, so if I give you an example, um, or just, just tell you how I feel, it's, it's best that I explain that. We all have masculine and feminine energy. And if you're in a, an opposite sex relationship, usually what that means is that the, the the feminine female has the more dominant feminine energy and the masculine male has the more dominant masculine energy. So what I'm teaching and sharing is how to be more, if I'm speaking to women, more feminine in your intimate relationship. And if I'm speaking to men, how to be more masculine in your intimate relationship to create that polarization because as i said before it's that polarization of those energies which creates the passion and attraction okay so if i'm starting to hear you correctly here is this more about and i'll be trying to be careful of my terminology here but about you know old school caveman being old school caveman and women being you know more the more nurturing, the more caring, the more gentle part in the relationship as it was, we're led to believe, and, you know, um, in the good old days of Adam and Eve. Yeah, I, I suppose in some senses, yes, but the modern woman, you know, um, can embrace that in, in a more modern way. You know, I'm not saying that women ought to be tied to the kitchen sink, and I, I wouldn't say that I'm expecting men, you know, to adopt chauvinistic attitudes that's not what i'm educating people around what i'm educating people around is how to um behave in a way if you're a woman that's going to ensure that he embraces more of his masculine energy and what i mean by that strong healthy masculine energy it's not about being chauvinistic it's about being chivalrous in other words and and you know really stepping up and being assertive in a very healthy way um, because there are unhealthy ways of being masculine you know there there can be relationships that are very toxic and abusive where you've got one person in the relationship that's very um, I suppose that it's it's worse very dominant very aggressive and very abusive and the other one that's very passive and and very submissive and very subservient now i'm I'm not talking about obviously educating people to be like that although that is obviously a polarization of energies that's 
the polarization in its most unhealthiest sense. So what I'm educating people around is to create that polarization at its highest level and at its healthiest level where you know the masculine is is the, the one that's very protective very assertive um, and is leading the relationship and is being chivalrous in a very healthy way and the woman is that feminine that's being very loving very nurturing and very compassionate in her best healthy way as well okay so from your um, Cupid's Bow Technique, and actually it's the number one bestseller, isn't it? Yeah, it was in um, last year uh, on uh, Kindle. It, it reached number one. Yeah, so I was very Excellent. happy with that. Excellent. So I'm looking here at um, one of the subchapters, six truths about why you don't have the relationship you want. Do you want to give us a, a little bit of an insight on that? Well, the first one is um, helping women and men to get clear about what their vision is, about what they want in a relationship. If you're not clear about what you truly want in a partner, then it's going to be very hard for you to naturally attract that. So it's getting clear around what's your vision, what traits, attributes have you got yourself and and what do you want in a partner. The next one is um, having the awareness around what beliefs might sabotage you attracting a healthy relationship you know we we unconsciously you know because of our previous experiences quite often carry negative baggage which is associated with negative beliefs around um, uh, a particular member of the opposite sex for example you might you might think uh, all men are cheats for example you know if you've been cheated on previously and then um, you'll carry that belief and that baggage with you through to another relationship and have that as your focus expecting that to happen and quite often you know if we if that's all we're focused on and and that's all we're expecting to happen then you can actually make that a self-fulfilling prophecy and quite often people don't know about how masculine and feminine energy works so this is also what I share and teach how the principles of um, you know creating that polarization in a relationship can attract a really healthy relationship at it operating at its highest level and quite often people don't know about um, you know any useful tools strategies and techniques for creating healthy relationships we're not actually taught this in schools are we or parented around what creates great relationship or your parents might even you know be poor role models for that uh, or you may just be just getting desperate around um, you know rate re- wasting precious energy around looking for what uh, is not going to work by trolling internet sites and what have you rather than speaking to people that have actually experienced what you want and looking to them to create and be an example for what you want to do to get the results you want. Okay great um, so it's been a it's been a, a bit of a whistle stop um, and a bit of an insight into um, obviously relationship stuff. And it's, it's a massive area, obviously, massive area. And one that I hope to sort of dig down a, a little bit deeper to sometime in the future. But uh, if anybody wants to, to, to find or follow you or, or get in touch with you, how, what, what, uh, how can they do that? Well, I've got my own website, which is wwwhearts hyphen entwined.com on there you can opt to get my free report which will go into this in a lot more detail there is also um, the Cupid's Bow Technique book link there if you want to get a copy of that on Kindle or in uh, uh, the softback version that's available on there too as well as some great video tips which you can access Excellent. Okay. Well, like I say, thank you very much indeed for that. It's been uh, it's been a useful useful foundation uh, talk. So uh, the risk of repeating. Hope to do some uh, future interviews and dig down deeper. So, uh, but until that time, so hopefully uh, you, the listeners, have took some value from this. Uh, I've certainly found it very insightful. And so, until the next time, take care and look forward to speaking soon. Bye for now. Thanks for listening to the Mastering the Game of Life podcast. Drop a line to paul at paullowhearts.com with any thoughts or questions you may have, and he'll be more than happy to respond. Alternatively, check out Paul's website 
at paullowhart.com or any of his social media feeds under the same name. Remember, mastering life starts by embracing our hearts.